Hello everybody and welcome back to the workshop. It's such a beautiful day outside that I thought why not share it more with you on video and do some tutorials, talk you through what I do when I'm doing a relic guitar. And what have we got today on the bench? It's this amazing Hofner. I've never seen a bass like this before but it really is something special and that's what we're going to be focusing on. So I've already got the strings off and we're going to go ahead and do some more work. Oh, fucking hell, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> All right, um, we've got the Hofner bass and uh, it, the strings are off, as some friendly guy just told you. Uh, I need to um, take the uh, parts off of the body. Um, actually, I do quite like the, the, the glasses. Where are those? Where's me fucking glasses like? Um, <laughs> uh, we've got the um, Hofner bass here and you know I did my diary earlier and I thought well you know I'm just here I'm going to be working on the bass and I've got the camera I can just hook it up why not just show you a bit of the um, process um, I'm not going to obsessively say like oh this is how I do it each step by step because you'll all be bloody doing it and I won't have any business um, but I will talk you through some of the things that I'll, that I'll need to do and um, it will be fun. Um, the other reason why I thought, well, it'd be good to do a bit of a sort of talk, talk through video tutorial thing of what I'm actually doing to the Hofner bass is because really, really hilariously, cosmically hilariously, um, I was invited to do a Beatles convention um, that was going to be occurring this month, about a week and a half ago, to the day. And um, I was invited to do a live relic of a Hofner Beatles bass to show people how to make something like a, you know, guitar or something like that look and feel and and have the vibe of uh, a 60 year old instrument, you know, something that had been on tour with an amazing band like the Beatles. And... Um, and and uh, I was invited to do that. And then this COVID, uh, it's 2020, this COVID crisis came all of a sudden and the UK was on lockdown. Um, so I didn't get to do that. But funnily enough, my bass player in my band, a lovely guy called Joe Jones, who's a music teacher and uh, really is like a generous soul and um, all round good guy and teaches children of, of, uh, of of young ages how to form their musical opinions and and start in their musical life and uh, he's a really beautiful person and uh, I was I'm so happy to do this for him it's kind of like a, um, a friendship thing that I'm bumping him ahead of, of other work and stuff like that um, and he's gonna be recording this week so I, I've a, a cover for these kids uh, and, and teaching them how to play the song uh, Here Comes the Sun by a band I've, I've never heard of before and um, and I thought well it's going to be really great to hear, have him playing this bass all finished and set up with flat wound strings from Hofner which we got in the post yesterday morning and um, and uh, you know it will be like a kind of like a magical thing that he's commissioned me to do this relic and it all happens in time where I would have been doing it at this convention and and he he can record it this week here comes the sun and um, wow you know so well why not involve other people in that why not share that process so I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna say um, what I'm gonna be doing so so I've got the strings off I've got the bridge off I need to get everything else off um, yeah everything else off and um, I'm going to go through the frets, I'm going to see what needs to be done, I'm going to mark up which frets need uh, attention. It seems that most of them need just a little bit of attention. Um, I'm going to straighten the truss rod, I'm going to get everything ready to um, have, a f have a proper setup with the new strings. Um, but then I'm going to go into working on the, on the finish. Um, We've got some decals arriving in the post that they, they aren't here yet, unfortunately, because I forgot to pay my bill in time for them to arrive uh, last 
few days but uh, it's Sunday and um, tomorrow hopefully we'll have um, the decals and we can complete the next stages of the process so this is part one it's just basically de deconstruction uh, I don't need to show you how to use a screwdriver I don't need to show you um, how things come apart because they're, it's really obvious um, but I'll see you in part two where we've got uh, the, 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 the carcass of the, of the base ready to be um, um, prepared for the aging processes. Thank you, thank you guys, stay tuned and like don't be squares and that because that's just lame, you know what I mean?